Hello, this is Jerry Flynn here. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use 3D constraints in MicroStation Connect Edition, along with the animator to create uh, animation of something that would be very difficult to achieve in V8i using uh, the animator with keyframing. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this uh, scissor lift. Now I've already got this one scripted up, so let's just take a look at the motion here. We'll play this and you can see that the cylinder moves and it will move the arms of the uh, scissor lift. So I'll go ahead and uh, get started and, and show how to set up the constraints in MicroStation Connect Edition and create this animation. Okay, so now you can see I'm in MicroStation Connect Edition. I'm in the modeling task uh, using the constraints tab. I'm gonna use a concentric constraint and I'm gonna constrain the cylinders so that they are concentric during the motion. So I constrain the first two cylinders and now I'm going to constrain the other end. So I'm going to constrain the inside hole to the pen. And you can see the markers for the constraints. Down at the opposite end of that uh, hydraulic cylinder, I'll constrain the hole uh, to the pen on the scissor arm. So now I'll constrain the scissor arms. So I'll select the one that has the hole select the hole and then i'll select the arm that has the pin attached and select the pin so now that's constrained so i just need to continue for the rest of the arms so again i'll select the one with the hole select the hole then select the other arm that has the pin select the pin and i have that now constrained So again, we'll select the arm and the pen and the hole and constrain. And on this arm, I'll select the arm, I'll select the hole, and then I'll select the pen so that those remain concentric during the motion. So now I need to uh, actually fix one end. So I know that this end's not gonna move down the other end here. So I'm gonna apply a fix constraint to the surface here. So now that will not move. It'll move from the opposite end and then I'll open up the visualization task. I'll create an actor out of my cylinder and you can see uh, that I've got move on X selected. And I'll just call this cylinder. So I've created my actor. And now I'm going to script the actor. So I'm going to define the path for my actor. So I've got a line here and it's actually set for the distance I want it to travel over 300 frames. And if I bring up the preview tool, you can see if I preview the motion that the cylinder moves and the scissor action will occur. So you can see that I can go ahead and turn on loop here. And while I'm previewing, I can manipulate the view. I can spin the view around and take a look at the arm. Pretty cool, pretty easy. One actor, couldn't be easier. Be very difficult in V8i, really easy in the Connect Edition. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.